Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm very, very excited because as you guys can see by the look of the title, we are going to be doing a first impression on another palette and this time it is on the Laura Lee Los Angeles cat pajamas palette. This is how she looks like and this is the box that it comes in and oh, I'm just so ready to dive in. I already saw the colors, I haven't swatched them or anything. The colors to me look very beautiful. They're very like up my alley, you guys know I like warm neutral tones and then the red tone the cranberry so i'm really really excited to try this out for you guys and see how long it's going to last also so at the end of the video i will be doing my eight hour check-in um but yeah this is why i don't have any eyeshadow on or anything like that because we are going to be trying it out for the first time together so yeah if you guys want to know how this baby performs on the eyes and how long it lasts and all of that jazz then just keep on watching so a few details on the palette before we jump into them is if you guys don't know who Laura Lee is as she is also another youtuber here on YouTube and you guys can go check her out I'll have her channel linked down below but she came out with her own palette you guys and this is so crazy and I first want to just congratulate her because no, from knowing her personally, this is huge. For me to hold this palette in my hands is just like, wow, dreams come true, you guys. And so I just wanna give you, girl, a huge congrats. I'm so proud of you, and I honestly can't wait to try it. But this is how the package looked like, and it's going to be available on October 13th, which is Friday the 13th. <laughs> also, this retails for $40, and it only comes with 10 eyeshadows. So that is what you get. Now, opening her up, this is how the palette looks like. I really am living for this packaging. I love everything that's glittery, so you guys know that I like this. Um, when it comes to the packaging, I'm a little like, <sighs> because this, I don't know what has to do with this, the roses and all that stuff. So for me, the packaging is just a little like, um, not for me but this is totally Laura Lee. And then the name I think is really cute, Cat Pajamas. And then the names of the eyeshadows, I just think they're really, really cute. They, re they really, truly represent who she is. And then these are the eyeshadow colors. Like I said, you only get 10 eyeshadows here. So you get four shimmers. And this one's sort of shimmery, but it's more like a going towards a matte eyeshadow. So it's kind of like in between. And then you get um, five mattes. So she kind of went almost a little half and half, you know? So that's a pretty good balance of the eyeshadows. And then this is how the mirror also looks like. I think it's a really cute idea of how the roses are just kind of like coming into the mirror. I think that's really cute. Um, so yeah, this is how the packaging looks like. I also like the, the little details that she has, like the little cat right here. The idea of her putting her personality into this palette really does represent who she is. And I think I really like that idea, you know, when you want to come out with something, you want it to be you, you know? So this is really who she is and the names, everything about it, it just... 100% her and it's a pretty good size I like these size of palettes because you can literally just put them anywhere in your Alex drawers and they will fit So I like that in that it's not too bulky. So I really like that about the packaging um, But yeah, so now we're gonna jump into the eyeshadows and like always I'm gonna try to use as many as possible That way we can really get the rundown of how these actually perform and everything So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start now using it before I begin using the eyeshadows on my eyes I'm gonna prime them with my MAC painterly Paint pot, you guys know I always use this primer to apply before applying any eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna quickly apply a little bit of this on my eye and then move on to the eyeshadows. So the first color that I'm gonna take is Okie Dokie and apply this pretty much where it's my transition up, up to my brow bone just to kind of like set that crease area so we can move on to our transition color. So I'm gonna take that with an E40 from Sigma. With that same brush that we just applied okie dokie we're gonna take bomb diggity and apply this on the crease as our transition shade so these are blending really soft and that was me dipping my brush in once and it actually applied really nice and it's blending out nicely Oh yeah, this is nice. So now I'm gonna take an E25 and I'm gonna go into Cray Cray just so we can start building up our crease color and then start adding more dimension. All right, now I'm gonna go back into my E40 and try to blend this out, the edges. Yeah, this is actually blending really nicely, guys. And these colors are pretty. 
These are like my everyday crease colors actually. So I like that. So now taking a clean E25, I'm gonna take the color Kooky and apply this on the outer part of the eye only. So I do notice that these eyeshadows, you kind of have to build them up. Um, I think she did mention that where it's meant for everyone. So she doesn't, she didn't want them to be applied um, heavy first and then having to like fix the problem. So these do apply a little bit light and then you can actually build up the color. Taking my other E25, I'm just going to start blending out the edges. Now I am going to use the last matte eyeshadow in the palette, but at the very end, just because I want to first get my lid color going and then apply the black eyeshadow, that is, that's what I usually always do, just in case it is like a little too intense for me. Um, I can just work with it at the end. But now I'm just going to go with in one ear and just apply this as close as I can to this uh, color called Cookie. We're going to take that with my Makeup Forever 226 brush, so I'm just going to go into in one ear. So that is very, very pretty. I like this color. Now I'm going to go into this shadow right here, the bronzy one called Redonculus. And I'm going to take this with a Sigma E58 brush and then apply this right in front of, um, in one ear. <laughs> So there is Redonculus and it's pretty pigmented and I haven't had any f major fallout. I do see a little bit of the shimmery. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I still have a little bit of fallout, but it's not like crazy or anything like that. So I think it's okay. So now taking my Sigma F70, I'm going to go into Scatterbrain and apply this on the inner corner of my eye. So there's the shimmery eyeshadows and I really like them. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, but now I'm going to actually take my E25 again and go into Cookie just so I can start making this a little bit more darker. That way we can add oddball. So now finally taking oddball with an E30. I'm only going to apply this on the outer part of my eye and then try to work it into my crease a little bit. Okay, it's not as intense as I thought. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my E25 that I applied a cookie with and just try to blend out the edges and try to make this a little bit more smoky, more of a dark, dark wine color as the outer part of the eye. I have to say though, it blended out so nicely and so easily that I didn't even have a problem blending it out. I usually like my shadows to be super pitch black, but this is not the case, but it blends out very easily. So now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm just gonna quickly do my wing liner with my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. As always, I'll play a little bit of mascara and some lashes, and then I'll be back to do the lower lash line. All right, now I have my lashes and also my eyeliner. So now I'm gonna take whatever is left on this brush from my E30 from Oddball and apply this on my lower lash line. So we can make it more beautiful. We're gonna take a little bit of Cray Cray and then just blend this out. And now we're gonna take a little bit of Cookie and then also blend this out in our lower lash line. Now I'm just gonna finish off the eyes with a little bit of mascara using my It Cosmetics Super Hero Mascara. So now I just went ahead and put on my lipstick and a little bit of highlight and now we are done with the eyes and everything. I really am loving this eye look. I don't know about you guys, definitely very fall. Um, I think the colors why she chose these are not only just because these are her colors, her go-to colors, but because of the perfect timing, it's fall right now. These are the colors that we are all using, I guess. Um, so I really like that she has these colors. The only thing I do wish that this palette had was a really deep, dark brown chocolate color. I would have switched this color for that. Um, yeah, I, just, I don't know. I just don't find my, see myself using this eyeshadow at all. 
Um, but other than that, all the other ones are very, very pretty. I really like how this eye look com came out. The only one that did kind of disappoint me was Oddball just because it didn't apply super, super black or intense like how I was expecting it to. But it's still very nice. It blended out very easily. Um, but other than that, like that is how the eyeshadows performed on the eyes. And I think I really like them. Um, let me know what you guys think. But... Like I said, we're gonna be doing an eight hour check-in. So right now, as you guys can see, it's 12.41, so I'll be checking back with you guys in eight hours just to see how the eyeshadows are holding up, if they have moved, if they have, trans like I don't know, disappeared into anything. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna check back with you guys in eight hours just to see how these eyeshadows perform during the day and all that. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it pretty much right now. So I'll check back with you guys in eight hours and then let you guys know my final thoughts on the palette. Alright beauty, so now it's been a little over 8 hours right now, it's exactly 8.57, a little over the 8 hours like I said, and this is how the eyeshadows look, and to be honest, the eyeshadows look really really good after 8 hours, considering it was really really hot today, um, so yeah, the eyeshadows held up pretty nicely. They didn't move or anything or lost this color. Like, this, it still looks really, really good. So, I like that. Overall, I do think the palette is great. I love these eyeshadows. So, they're actually right up my alley. And the only two shades that I feel like I would just personally change are these two right here. Um, the black eyeshadow is not, like, my black that I like. I like them to be super, super dark and pigmented. And then this one, I just... I don't know. I kind of see it sort of similar to these shades. So I think that if we would have added like a dark um, chocolate brown, that would have been so beautiful. But nevertheless, it's still a beautiful palette. But yeah, overall, that's my final thoughts on this palette, my loves. I really hope that you guys found this first impression very helpful in that way you guys can get an idea of how the eyeshadows look like once they're on the eyes and how they blend it and all that. Um, if you, there's any other palette or any product that you guys would like for me to do a first impression on, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. And also, if you guys like the video, don't forget to give me your guys' thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you guys are part of the Birdie family. And then for you guys to be updated with all my future videos, don't forget to hit that ring bell notification. That way YouTube notifies you guys. But yeah, I think that's it, my loves. Thank you guys so much for watching me today. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Y aparte de eso, va a costar... Y va a costar... Hola, mis... Oh, hola. What the fuck am I saying? Like, where are my ears? There we go. Les viene un ratito en un ratote.